everyone. Welcome back to Partial Fraction Decomposition video. This is example one. Here we have 2x plus 53 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. If you're new to Partial Fraction Decomposition, you might check out our basics on uh, our intro to partial fractions or some of our methods on how to set up partial fractions. Here we're going to assume that you've already watched some of that and we're going to go ahead and factor our denominator. So we'll go ahead and say 2x plus 53 over the factored version of x squared minus 3x minus 10. You might look at that for a second and you'll notice that it is x minus 5 and x plus 2. So that tells us right away what denominators we're going to have. We're going to have x minus 5 as one of our denominators. We're going to have x plus 2, our other factor, as one of our denominators. Since these are linear factors, we will just need constants on the top. We'll need an a there, and since we've already used a, we'll need a b there. Short version, we'll get a common denominator here, and then we'll only solve the numerators, so I'm only going to worry about what the numerators would be when we get a common denominator. Since I already have a common denominator here, my numerator is going to stay 2x plus 53. In the a fraction, I would multiply in the missing x plus 2 factor in the top and bottom, so the numerator in the end would look like a times x plus 2. In my b fraction, I'm missing the x minus 5 factor underneath, so I would multiply that in the top and the bottom. And in the end, my numerator would look like b times x minus 5. This is a good candidate for setting factors equal to zero. If you'll notice in the first factor, I could set x equal to negative two, and that's going to allow me to make this factor zero, so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll have negative four plus 53 equal to a times zero plus b times negative seven. If we do the arithmetic here, we'll get 49 over there, the a term goes away, and we'll get negative 7b. If we divide by negative 7 on both sides, that will give us that b is negative 7. Okay, so we've got one of them. We'll go back and go ahead and set the other factor equal to 0. We would do that by using x equal to 5. So we'll set x equal to 5, and we'll go ahead and do that. So that would give us 2 times x would be 10 plus 53 equal to a times positive 7 here plus b times 0, so our b goes away. Over here we get 63 and we get 7a, so dividing both sides by 7 will give us that a equals 9. And if we plug those into our original setup of how we were going to get our partial fraction decomposition, we will get 9 over x minus 5 minus 7, because b was negative 7, over x plus 2. Okay, that's our first example. Uh, setting both factors equal to 0, we were able to get a and b. Check out some more examples. We have a few more. We'll see you in the next one.